I try to remember. In the most recent world I experienced, it only took a few days after Sotoko was kidnapped by her uncle. It only took a few days for Harem to te tear her heart apart. We have no time to waste. We need to take action quickly. We can't really do anything unless she seeks help. I think Dr. Ure can call the police, but that's about it. I'm very sorry. That's not it. I want you to help her, Takano. Ure and Takano look shocked, and they go quiet. They didn't expect me to seek help from Takano. You mean you want us to take a much bolder action? I'm here to ask for that. I wouldn't be here this late otherwise. I understand, but... Ira, if you want to save her, you have to listen to me. Please help her. Something bad is going to happen in only a few days. It's going to happen. We have no time to relax. Don't abandon her. Don't you remember Satoko from last year? She's back to that condition already. It'll be too late if we don't do anything now. All I can do is, stare at, is to stare at him. I hope Ira can see the despair in my eyes. He remains silent for a long time. I can tell that he's not looking for excuses to make. He's thinking seriously of what he can do to save Satoko from her situation. I know that he really cares about Satoko. That's why I need his help. Oh, sorry. What shall we do? Irene nods and looks up. I guess he finally came to that to a conclusion. I hope it's a positive answer. Takano, please do what Rico wants to do. Ira, I remember how helpless I felt when I couldn't do anything to save Satoko last year, but I want to take this chance and save her, and save her this time. But doctor, Takano didn't think that Ira would make that decision. She seemed shocked to hear his response. I would like to ask you as the director of this clinic, Please help Satoko. Dr. Irai, what do you mean when you say help her? Please calm down. Satoko is very important to us. She will greatly contribute to our research for a long time. Protecting her is, a, is considered one of your work orders. Irai continues, though Takano tries to persuade him. Irai Kiyosuke is asking you as your chief. Please save Satoko. I stare into Takano's eyes together with Yuri. I thought you and Takano Satoko were friends. Please help her as her friend. Help her, huh? That's a hypocritical way of saying it. You're not telling me to kidnap her and lock her up somewhere safe. You want me to help her so she can have the normal, happy life. In other words, you want her uncle dead, right? You have the right to make the ultimate decision of how you're going to save her. But if you don't want to, I don't mind making that decision. Dr. Ira, no, Chief. If we carry out your orders, both you and I will be responsible for it. Are you sure you're ready for that? I look at his face. Unlike me, Ira has many things to lose. Yeah, like a fucking job. I know that Takano's words can shake him emotionally. However, Ira is determined. I don't mind. Even if I'm punished for it, it's better than betraying my own heart. It's impressive. You don't you don't even know what inquiry is all about. <laughs> if you do it quietly, they may not find out about it from in Tokyo. Everyone would be happy that way. All risk and no reward. If you want, I'll show you more treasures in the shrine. I'll never restrict you from ha seeing those things. So please help me. The risk she's taking is larger than the reward I'm offering, but that's about the only thing I can offer her as a reward. I don't care about the traditions of the Furude Shrine as long as I can save my friend from her suffering. Fine. I don't want to be the bad guy here. She forces a smile and accepts my favor. Thank you, Takano. I want, I want you to make the decision of how to save her. I'll have a meeting with Oko Nogi later to plan out the mission. No, later. Not later, it has to be now. She promised to save Satoko, but she's still not motivated for it. It'll be too late if she doesn't do something right now. I try to make Takano understand that this is an urgent matter. 
That's right. Rika and I want to see that some kind of result right now. I'm sorry for asking you this at this time, but can you please contact them now? You guys are so passionate about it. Okay. That might take a few minutes. Thank you very much. No problem. It's an order from my boss. I'll do whatever I can. Rika, don't forget that promise you just made. I promise. I'll even serve you some rice cake and tea when you come to the shrine. Takano smiles slightly and leaves the room. We stare, start feeling relieved at the sound of her footsteps, as her, the sound of her footsteps fade away. Irei offers me something to drink, but I refuse. It seems like he thinks everything is taken care of now, but I can't relax until Satoko is physically back. Irei, does she have enough medication with her? Her uncle will keep her locked inside the house, so she won't be able to come out, come here for a while. Fortunately, I gave her a stock of medicine and needles last week. She should be fine for a while. However, her mental state can't be controlled by the medication. If she starts, if she gets too stressed, it can da it can really damage her. That'll happen within a few days. Sakuna is not back yet. I thought it would be bad news if she came back too early, but I'm starting to feel nervous because she's taking too long. Irei insists that I should go home because it's getting very late. But I can't go home and relax until I hear from her that everything is taken care of. I have to wait for her to come back. I need to deal with this tension until then. Over an hour later, Takano finally comes back to, to the room. Fuck, an hour? I'm sorry it took so long. How did it go? She's looking for the right words. I get a very bad feeling from her reaction. Rip. I'm sorry, but it's not that easy. Why is that? There was a murder case in Okinomiya not too long ago. The police are targeting Hojo Tepe as one of the suspects. Murder case? What do you mean? A lady named Mamiya was murdered for embezzling the Sonozaki family's funds. Ooh. Ooh. That's stupid. That's just stupid. I mean, come on. That, that's just... You fucking deserve to die at that point. Right, you fucking idiot. Police are looking closer at the relationship between the Sonozaki and Hojo families. That lady turns out to be Hojo Tepe's lover. Watanagashi is getting closer, too. The police want to prevent the fifth curse of Oyashiro-sama this year. And they're assuming that Hojo Tepe will be targeted as the victim. So what does that mean? If they keep their eyes on Hojo Tepe, they believe that they are, can arrest the murder suspect of Oyashiro Sama's curse. So you mean? Rika, I'm very sorry, but the Mountain Hounds can't do anything to him until the police stop surveying him. No, I thought the Mountain Hounds could perform any difficult mission. It's only when we plan it out carefully with extensive preparation. Usually we take a long time to observe the target and we look for the right opportunity. It can take between six months and a year for a mission like this. Six months to a year? Good fucking lord, these guys are useless. Remember, we are a secret organization. We must remain out of the spotlight. If our secret is revealed, everything is over. It's too risky for us to target someone like him. Then when is the right opportunity coming? It will be after Watanagashi at the earliest. After the festival, the police will stop watching him. But that's too late. She's sta saying it will be after Watanagashi. I don't even know if that's a day after or a year after Watanagashi. If anything, you can get Akasaka to do it for you at that point. Because he'll be back the day before Watanagashi, probably. So if anything, he'll be more helpful. She also said it usually takes at least six months to prepare this kind of mission. That's too long. I thought this world was different, but that hope is slipping away from my fingers. So how can we save Santico? I think it's best to follow the rules. We should report to the police or the child consultation center. We can even talk to the school. I did that so many times, but it never worked. Yuri and Takano are surprised. 
They never expected me to raise my voice. In fact, I didn't think myself that I would re react this way. But I can't keep my emotions in check anymore when talk now suggests all these meaningless solutions. I've cooperated with you guys all this time. I never asked for anything and I just gave you all my support. But now you can't save Satoko? With all that power you have, why are you so afraid of saving Satoko? The police and public services are useless. You guys only take advantage of us and never help us. Fine, I get it now. I know how know that this world is nothing but a dead end. I'm not interested in you guys anymore. I don't care about this world anymore. That's right. I can never go give away from my fate. It's the same old fate that I keep on repeating. You just burned to death in the mountains. You just take sleeping pills and commit suicide, you fucking useless piece of shit. I'll ju die just like I always do too. I'll lose my life without knowing how I'm killed. This life is nothing but a dead end. I was born to be killed in this world. Die, everyone die. There's no meaning to this world anymore. Ah, I'm fucking freaking out. I can't put words to my emotions anymore and I start to cry. I was so lucky up until yesterday. And you wasted, you burned all of your luck in one day. All of it. All of it in one day. I had so much hope in my heart, but now I'm devastated. I think everyone is f falling apart. Everything is falling apart now. I've lived more than a hundred years. I've lived longer than a normal human lifetime. I thought I was blessed with good fortune for the first time in my life. This is never going to happen to me again. I thought a miracle was happening to me, but everything is shattered now. I cry and curse this world. I need to give up on my life now. Satoko will be waiting for me with a smile in my next life. I want to go see her. But, what will happen to Satoko in this world? What will happen if I abandon her? I don't know. And I don't care. Satoko, 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 Satoko. I'm a witch who's been living for a hundred years. But I still can't get rid of the human emotions in my heart. I didn't get anything to eat because Satoko was supposed to be making dinner tonight. But I don't have an appetite anyway, so I think I'm going to bed now. But I still have to make lunch for tomorrow. Satoko might come to school tomorrow. She won't. I rinse the rice hoping that I won't have to waste the lunch that I'm about to make for the two of us. But I have to stop thinking like that. I know that it's a waste to make her lunch. I already know that Satoko is not coming to school anymore. I feel so sad that I, as I rinse the rice. Tears start dripping into the rice as I think about her. Why is this happening to the, in this world? I thought everything changed when Keiji gave that doll to Mio. Hey, I'm okay with this world for the most part. For that one act, I'm already happy. In that world, Mio pretended to be her sister for a week and got closer to Keiji. But that's not happening this time. I thought we would be having a good time until the festival. Huh? I feel so strange. That club activity was just two weeks before the Watanagashi. I realized something. The club activity was exactly the same, but it happened one week earlier than in the world I knew of. It was, it was one week earlier than in my previous game. That's right. I thought I was familiar with this world, but I think this is a different world where things are mixed up. That means that even though Keiji gave the doll to Mion, that didn't solve everything. I thought I was getting lucky. I was confident that everything was going to be okay. I stopped making an effort. True. I knew that there was a possibility that Satoko's uncle was coming back. Hey, that's what I- That was always in the back of my mind saying there's still another possibility that can happen. But I let her go to the- Go do the grocery shopping. I would have been- I should have been more careful and kept her home if I knew that he was coming back to get her. I should be careful in my next life, but there won't be a next life like this. I don't get lucky that often. Even if I lock Satoko inside the closet, it would be over It would be over if Rena's father messed up something or if Keiji lost his mind. I have to clear, everything, clear up everything that's not within my reach, and I also have to make the best effort I can. Without that, I can't overcome the fate of Showa 58. In this life, I may be able to overcome my deadly fate with Takano's help. But Satoko will not be there in my future. 
That defeats the whole purpose. My goal is to survive this year while laughing with my best friends. I don't want to sacrifice Satoko in order to survive. I don't want to live in a world without her. I was blessed with all these those fortunes, but I can't I still can't defeat my destiny. I ruined everything because I stopped working hard. I will never again have a lucky life like this. I lost my first and last chance. Uh, uh, uh. I cry and scratch the floor. Yeah, fuck you, floor. I don't know if I should curse my fate or curse myself for not making enough effort. Um, you should curse yourself for not making enough effort. Uh, that's what I would say. Because I would have immediately assumed I need to go one by one. What are the different things that can go wrong? And I will eliminate each of them. I realize, realize Hanyu is standing in front of me. Thanks for all of your help. Oh, wait. That's right. I don't know how long she's been standing there. She just stares down at me with a look of pity on her face. Hanyu, I know what you're trying to say. You want to tell me that you told me not to get my hopes up. There's no way I wouldn't get excited. This was my first time being blessed with so many fortunate circumstances. I believed that everything would go well. But you were always telling me not to expect too much. She probably felt something strange at the toy store that day. She realized that the date was one week off, and this was not the same old world that I knew. Why the fuck didn't you tell me? Oh, that's when I would start yelling at her. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's why she knew that I was still shouldn't be too excited about this life. I've been with you for a long time. So let me tell you this first before you ask me. I didn't think that this would happen in this world. But I have to tell you one thing. The fate in this world is very random, and you can't take everything too seriously. There's six sides on a die. That's the reality, and it doesn't mean that the six is the best number. I should just take any number that I roll. Uh, can I not get a one, though? Ones generally aren't the best. I shouldn't be disappointed if I roll one a few times in a row. Uh, I mean, you can be kind of upset. It's like, okay, thanks. Thanks, m the luck of the die. You're really pissing me off right now by only rolling ones. It's pathetic how I thought rolling a six was the best attainable result. I still have many things to learn, even though I've been living for more than a hundred years. I've told you several times, but this world is not a miracle. If you wait patiently, you will come across a real miracle someday. How many decades am I supposed to wait patiently? How many centuries do I have to wait? We don't have much power left anymore. I don't think we can go back to a time before Juno show of 58. We can rewind time less and less. You're telling me to just repeat that short time for years? I almost lost my mind when I was repeating a few years over and over again. But you're telling me to repeat one or two weeks for years until the miracle happens? Oh, and then like when it gets really bad when you're only repeating like a couple days over and over again. That's when it gets really fun. That's impossible. <laughs> I was betting on this world. I bet all of my coins in, on this one world. And I lost. I lost all of my coins to this fate. I have no more coins left in my heart. The coins are known as hope. I have no energy to hope for my dreams to come true. Oh, oh. Rika. I lie on the floor as if I collapse. The floor is supposed to be cold. But I don't feel anything. I lost all of my hope. <laughs> I thought people could survive as long as they had some bread and water. Oh, hell no. You need some reason to live for. I mean, you need some sort of moral uh, win. A moral food. You need something. You need hope to keep living. You need a reason. But that's not right. People can't live without hope. People can survive because they believe that something good will happen to them eventually. As long as they keep on living. But that's just for normal people who don't know what awaits them in the future. There is no such hope for a witch like me. I don't care about anything anymore. 
I don't care about this life, and I don't care about the next. I just want to disappear and become Ash. Yeah, but you can still hope that the next world is better. Uh, uh, Rika, please don't say things. Uh, Rika, Rika! Onion's voice gradually fades away. I slowly lose my senses and lay down on the kitchen floor and let myself sink into the darkness. This nice, cold, tile floor or wood floor, whatever the fuck it, their floor is made of over the kitchen. I'm gonna take a nap here. Don't mind me. I drag my body to school, hoping that Satoko might be there today. But just as I expected, there's no one sitting in her seat. I feel more devastated just seeing her empty seat. I have nothing left to bet. All I can do is get hurt and suffer this devastation. The blood flows out from my broken heart and it finds a way out through my eyes in the form of tears. Is something wrong, Kurude? Is Hojo absent today? The whole class is wondering why I came in late today, and why Satoko is not with me. But no one can, here can help her. I can't rely on any of them. No one has the ability to save her. Why should I smile at these uh, useless people? This world is ending soon anyway. If I don't do anything, I'll be killed soon after the Watanagashi Festival, and I'll be going back to the beginning of this month again. I'm going to live in June of the 58th year, year of the Showa era forever. I'm, I'm locked inside of this time period. Even my death won't set me free from this prison. Rude, please talk to me if something happens. Where's Hojo? Is she sick? Shut up. Oh, fuck. What the fuck did you say to me? No class gap. The fuck do you think you are? They never expected me to expected to hear this from me. This is the first time I've spoken like that in front of my classmates. I've always wanted to talk like this, though. Frude! She is standing there surprised. The fuck? Oh, I'd be kind of, I'd be a little pissed. <laughs> I stand up from my seat. If Satoko is not here, I don't want to be locked up inside of this human place. I'm going home. I'm not coming here anymore. Goodbye. I feel like saying that. However, I still have a small hope that Satoko might show up here tomorrow, so I keep myself quiet. However, Chie won't let me go. Oh, I wonder why. She grabs my arm and drags me to the teacher's office <laughs> and just picks her up. She tells me to take a seat on the couch by the principal's room. She doesn't have a right to tell me what to do. Oh, oh my god, don't, don't even start. I can just leave through that open window. Um... I highly advise against it. But I don't have that kind of energy. I just sit on the couch as she told me. I realize I don't even have the energy to be rebellious. I think Santago is feeling the same. She lost the energy to rebel, and that's why she's obeying her uncle. Furude, please tell me what is going on. I'm sure I can help you. Shay talks to me, but I know that she is just talking. All she can do is call the child consultation center. She won't go to the Hojo residence and force Satsuko out of there. Well, I mean, you really- I'm sorry, Rika, but you really can't. There's no point in talking to her about Satsuko. If I can- If I talk to her, she's not going to keep it to herself. This thing I know, everybody- Everyone will know- Will know what's going on with Satsuko. Next thing I know. Ah, wish I could leave. That's only be going to add chaos to the situation. If they call the Child Consultation Center and the staff from there will go and visit Satoko. Her uncle will deny the abuse and Satoko will also deny it because of the guilt she feels from Satoshi. Then they'll find out about the false report Satoko has made before and they'll decide to not proceed any further. The uncle will allow Satoko to go to school for a few days. But she, the abuse will get worse because he, he thinks she's the one who called the child consultation center. He will do horrible things to her, just like her aunt did last year. Calling the child consultation center will not help Satoko. It will instead put her in an even worse situation. It's better not to notify her. But that doesn't mean that the world will change. No. Nothing is going to change. There's nothing that 
can, we can do once this unfortunate fate takes over Satoru. You say Han so Hojo's uncle is back? Is that true? I realize I answered all of Chie's questions without noticing. Oops. <laughs> I know that nothing will change, whether I speak to her or not. That's why I told her everything. Just because I have no energy to rebel. I understand what's going on now. It's horrible. So, now that you know what's going on, what can you do? She answers right away. I'll visit her house today. I need to see Santico and talk to her first. Then if there's a problem, you're going to call the Child Consultation Center, right? They have a record showing that she made a false report in the past. They'll never do anything unless there's proof of abuse. They'll just talk... Ju they'll just like the police. They're just like the police who don't start to invest... Don't start the investigation until someone is dead. I mean, you can't... Ri <laughs> you can't start an investigation before someone's dead unless you have, like, evidence that someone might be about to die. They won't do anything unless Santico is killed. When that happens, this is what the school and the Child Consultation Center will say. We never saw this coming. She was such a bright girl. <laughs> you guys are idiots. <laughs> I believe that the people from the center will do something about it. I'll make sure to tell them that she needs help. You've done the same in previous lives, too. I don't deny her passion, but I can't say that there's meaning to that passion. The problem is not with her. The problem is with them. No matter how hard GA tries to seek help from the, support, from the service, it means nothing as long as they have a negative no notion about Sadako. It doesn't matter if she has proof of abuse or not. I suddenly hear a voice from the hallway. Oh. oh I, okay, that's fucking cagey, right? It's Shion's voice. Oh! Oh, god damn it. Fucking Shion's gonna fucking kill him. Fuck. Jie asks, asks who it is, and Mion tries to hush Shion up. <laughs> Shut up! We're listening in. I guess they were listening to our conversation. Duh. They were having a small discussion outside the door, but Shion accidentally made a loud noise. Fucking Shion. You don't know how to spy properly. She gets so excited sometimes. No, no, no kidding. Four people come into the room from the hallway. They're Mion, Chion, Keiichi, and Rena. Oh, what a surprise. Oh, and <laughs> where's Tomita and Okamura? Oh, wait. That's right. No sprites. I told you to stay in class. Go back to the classroom. We can't. Not in this situation. What are you going to do if something happens to Santico? Do you want to be responsible for that? There's no time to waste. We have to do something right now. My sister's saying that... Things will get worse unless there's some kind of proof of abuse. But it'll be too late once there's proof. Do you want to see Satoko's de Satoko dead, Mion? Well, obviously not. But she has a point. That it's really hard after, with a false claim, for them to actually review it and say, Oh, yeah. Especially when two of them are saying, No, there's no abuse going on. It's really hard to do anything in that situation. And that, yes, you need really good proof. Oh, like how she has a red mark on her face from being slapped. That's, I'm sorry, that's enough proof for me. If I'm a, if I'm a worker, I'm like, yeah, how the hell, why does she have a fucking handprint on her cheek? Oh, no, no, no reason. Uh, she fell down some stairs. Oh, yeah, fucking piece of shit. That's not what I'm trying to say. Like I told you, Satoko once made a false report to the abuse hotline, and they have that record, record at the Child Consultation Center. Without proof, they won't investigate her case any further. Just think about what that means. It'll only make her uncle more furious. Satoko's situation will get even worse. Wow, Mion's right again. Holy shit. What the hell? They're supposed to help her before something happens to her, right? They're not going to do anything unless she's seriously injured from abuse. Calm down, you guys. I feel the same as Shichan and Keiichi. I don't want to wait until something bad happens, but we need to think about what we can do. Well, obviously Mion doesn't want to wait until something bad happens, but her point being, 
that yes, there's a false report in it, and that you need re- you need proof. What can we do? Talk to the child consultation center. I'd do so if they were definitely going to help her. But Mion said they're most likely go- put a hold on her case. Right. Unfortunately, that's what I think they will do. Just like last year. On top of that, she was in a worse situation last year. They put a hold on the case, even though Satoko is already in horrible shape. But this time, it's only been a day since his un- her, her uncle took her away. Plus, her uncle has legal custody of her. We don't have to go through that route. All we have to do is kill that pig. Uh, Shio, no, nah, calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I don't want you to go crazy again. You're scary when you're crazy. Chi-chan, you, you can't do that. Satoshi wouldn't want that. Then how could we save Satoko? Satoshi told me to look after her. I have to do what I have to. Why should we wait until Satoko gets abused? Are you going to call the police when you see a crime going on in front of you? Is that what you do? No. You have to stop it yourself. Uh, it depends on the crime. If a fucking murder's taking place, uh, yeah, I'm not, um, no thank you. Uh, no thank you. Uh, I, I'm not armed. Uh, no thank you. I, I don't want to die too. But I mean, if it, it depends what crime it is. It really depends whether I'll confront it or not. You know, someone has a gun and is shooting someone, ah, I'm not gonna stop him. I'm gonna go away and call the police. <laughs> because... Because I don't want to get shot. You know, it's that kind of thing, Shio. It, it really depends on the crime. It's not a blanket statement. But, nah, whatever.